All right. I tried buying to go back into the cave. That's the subtitle. Usiat says in chat, the fake Usiat with two Y's, uh, my friend called you in Italy. That's not an insult. It's not really a compliment either. You're not wrong. Someone says, I wonder what Retro is making right now. Not money. That's for damn sure. We here at Retro Studios have decided we don't want to make money any further. That was my biggest E3 disappointment. I didn't, I didn't mention that on the podcast with KY, but I want to mention it now again. Like, it kind of got lost in all the Smash. But I'm still very surprised we haven't heard anything about Retro's project. It has been four years, and sure, they implemented Funky Kong into the Switch port, and I hope the Switch port is doing really well, because that game kicks ass and they deserve it. People deserve to uh, check out the game. It's that good. But, you know. It's just very surprising that we haven't heard more of, of what they're doing, or anything, for that matter. I'm just happy, in some ways I'm happy that the Star Fox Grand Prix thing turned out to be Japes. Because it leaves the opportunity for an Eternal Darkness sequel open. Humility class turret, space pirate defense system, beam weapon variant of captured Federation turret, evade its fire with quick movement. So again, if you're just joining, if you've never watched my Metroid streams, it'll stutter a little bit at first, and then it'll sort itself out. Ah, uh, well. It won't entirely sort itself out. But it'll get better. But look at that resolution. Here, um... Here secrets. I don't know where secrets are, but I hear them. Someone said I actually like the idea of a Star Fox racing game. I, I kind of don't mind it. As long as it's done right, it could work. But I still think that Star Fox can be done in a way that retains what it was good at and add a little bit more depth. You know, I'd be down for a Star Fox with ship customization and um, different pilots having different attributes. Maybe some randomly generated levels like they toyed with in Star Fox 2 to earn money. And when you're not doing that, you go on the story missions. I hate to say it, but Starlink, it kind of looks like it's getting it right a bit. And another person said, I don't, you know, wouldn't a new IP be great? And yes, I agree, a new IP would be fantastic from Retro, but... The reason I mention Eternal Darkness is because we didn't get a sequel to Eternal Darkness. There's only been one. And Eternal Darkness... ...fits the description of Retro working on something that, that could be, you know, a Nintendo property that... ...um, hasn't been seen much, and, and maybe they could do so much with it, because it's been, you know... ...like, what, 13 years since it came out. I've streamed Eternal Darkness three times over the past eight years. That's how much I like that game. And I got all the endings, and I got the mega ending. But now I cannot stream it any further.
Leonardo DiCaprio is going to spearhead its production? You mean Joseph Gordon-Levitt is going to be like, Hey, can you guys make a game for us? Just take them, um, take them skills that you have at home and, you know, we'll monetize them. get there yet. Um, seems like spider ball is possibly a thing for here. Hmm. Vinny, I joined your stream halfway through your first Eternal Darkness playthrough and I'm still here. Jesus. I'm sorry and also I'm thankful. Um... I think we could probably get a Nintendo Direct about whatever Retro's doing. I don't necessarily see the need for E3 to be that kind of announcement. I have to, uh... This... See, now I can get up there, but I need to be able to get up there first. Hey, Vappy. Vappy, you're gonna have a break. Four days, no new streams. Please cut. Vappy can finally, like, have a life. Um... Um... No. No, I'm gonna probably need Spider Ball for this. Or... It's designed so that it's not possible without the Spider Ball. If you go the long way, the platforms disappear. Well, shit. Okay, well... I guess... here might be my destination? And then maybe Torvis again? to get up there. You went off on a side path that's not needed. Damn. Well, you know what happened? I thought maybe I could go through, through that door. And now I'm all confused again. Alright, we'll just go back this way. Let's as much as I love Metroidvanias, as much as I love the exploration, Obviously, these types of games have their drawbacks. Vinny, remember Superboy? I'm not likely to forget it anytime soon. from Zemina. That might be one of my favorite, um... Wow, good. That might be one of my favorite game japes. Or mistranslation. Or whatever you want to call it. The sorry nothing moment will live on forever. Never in my life has a video game told me sorry nothing. Excuse me, did you just... Boom, boom, boom. And the zoom, zoom, zoom. Can't do that.
Vinny, I'm depressed tonight. Can you give me a reverbed nut to make me smile? Normally, I wouldn't take requests such as that, because then, you know, everyone wants to get in on this. But I'll give you one, and I'm going to use my Kramer tape stereo plug-in that I, I've recently purchased. Okay. You're going to have to give me a second here, okay? This, this thing is amazing. It's used in music to great effect, and uh, I love it. Put it, put before, it for my limiter. My limiter. Well, well. All right, all right. You ready? You ready? Block, Lux. Block, Lux. Feedback. Feedback. Noise. Noise. Low pass. pass. Sorry about that. Sorry about, Sorry that. about that. Check, 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 check. check, check. check, check. There, we, there go. we go. Yeah, get, get that, 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 get that, get that shit, shit, shit. shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get, it, get, get it, get it, get it. And. Check check And there you go. I don't even know what that sounds like, but there's some good experimentation in there. Someone said, Vinny, you are so valid. I don't know if that was an insult or a praise, but their name was Sayonara Shadow the Hedgehog. So I'm going to take it as praise. Okay, now I have to hear what it sounds like. <laughs> oh. Okay. Good good plug in. I, I feel so valid. Vinny, you are an amazing content creator. St never stop making good shit. What was good about what you just witnessed? What? I'm sorry, what content am I producing here? <laughs> Could you call that content? I can't wait to use that Kramer with, um, guitar. There's another, uh, really good, like, space reverb from Valhalla. Valhalla is another good, uh, plug-in maker. And they make, um, a good, like, spacey echo that... It's just... Ah, oh, it's so good. Thank you, Widdler. I got your email, by the way, Widdler, and I tried chaining a couple of NS1s together so that they could, um, reduct noise. <laughs> uh, but it wasn't happening. It, it sounded like pure assholes. 
I didn't have much time to fuck with it, though, so... Crayley. Dimensional warping bioform. Able to phase out of local time space, target creature before it war warps to damage it. I was gonna read that as wasps. Yeah, I don't know, Desert. I'm still using the downward expander, which I've I fucked with, and now it sounds pretty good. But the NS1 is just pure garbage for some reason. And it might be my microphone. I don't know. Luminoth was blind, possibly from birth. Damaged cybernetic augmentation is present. A sonic imaging device enabled the subject to see the world around him. Geordi LaForge. In Luminoth form. Luminoth. Moth. The game is themed around light. The Luminoth exist in the light world. A little on the nose there, Retro? Oh, guys, here's the freak day spinner we found. Some of those, um, ads from the most recent Android stream really, uh, ate away at my spirits. probably figure out what the fuck is going on over here before I worry about that. Oh. You can't do this yet? Really? It just hurts. Oh, man. No, you can't do- you can't jump when you're in morph ball mode. The Wii version adds the jump mechanic. But some consider that ba babby games because um, it makes certain bosses a lot easier. By the time we detected the stellar object as it streaked toward our world, it was too late to stop it. We fired numerous weapons at it in a vain attempt to alter its trajectory. Nothing worked. Our efforts placed a great strain on the energy controllers and weakened Aether. All we could do as the object drew closer was take shelter and wait. We gathered stores of food and water, reinforced the shielding on our dwellings, and spent the last hours in peace. And this is Cerebro. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I have to do the thing. Yeah, like, you know, Cerebro from... Not Magneto. Cerebro. Like, from Professor X-Man. 
who's, you know, friends with Dr. Watchman from the Watchman TV series game show uh, comic. wondering like why the fuck do I need to be inside the thing like why do I need to be in the spinny thing and I don't the spindly thing how is this puzzle made for what purpose you're beginning to sound like me I question I question the nature of the puzzles in these games from time to time. Wondering... why the Luminoth would ever create such a device. But in reality... it was just a dude that works at Retro called John Luminoth... who developed the level and was like, Hey, we need a puzzle here! His full name is Jonathaniel. Advanced movement system, huh? Polluted mire. Okay, well I guess that's where we're going next. Luminoth subject terminated 1.4 decacycles ago. According to Luminoth records, the Ing used this area to conduct rites of passage. Young Ing battle fierce opponents to prove their mettle in combat. It appears this Luminoth was one of their many opponents. through this yet. Wow. All of that was pointless. Actually, no. No, this is new. I've only ever been on the other side of this thing. For the past, like, however many streams of this game, I've looked at this cage. I was like, how do I get behind there? Why do I feel the need to shoot the things... ...like that? Why do I do that? So satisfying. It's like a good... ...ploop. I feel like clowns don't shit. But they do something funnier out of their butt. Confetti hunk. This powerful attack uses five missiles. Using the dark beam, charge, and then... Oh, cool. So good! 
They're so good. Uses up a lot of ammo. But, I mean, sure, I'll take it. It's an optional thing, but it was worth exploring a little bit for. Did you know there's an app to monitor the color of your shit? Just to make sure it's healthy? And I'm lying. Completely. I, I just lied. That's a lie. Someone was like, yes. Yes, Vinny, I am aware of this app. That you have just made up. That is sadly probably real. Okay, I'll stop. I'm talking about clown shit, and, um, it just shit's on the mind, I guess. Time to take a shit. There we go, there's the scan. Shriek bat, territorial flying rodents. Rapid flying. Explosive animals target and eliminate enemy at range if possible. God, that one sucked. There's still an item here somewhere. There is technically a fix for the stutters, but it requires playing at 10 FPS. We'll get used to it. Vinny, clarify if this is an emulator or not. Uh, I own both this game and a GameCube. Did you know there was an AMA of the main actors of The Room a few hours ago? What more could these people have to say about this film? I still haven't seen Best Friends. Best Fiends? Friends? The Tommy and Greg movie? Anyway, it looks like I know what I'm reading tonight. So thanks for that. Uh, I'll be checking that out. I guess even though I know everything that I think I need to know about the room, or at least, you know, I'm content with my l limited knowledge, well, it's a little bit more than limited, actually. 
got a little obsessive about that movie for a little while there. Um, that said, I guess I'm still kind of curious. Like, you know, I listened to the Disaster Artist audiobook, saw the movie, watched countless interviews, read countless interviews, ate pant, uh, met Tommy Wiseau, fucking, uh, bought a, a DVD from him, a Blu-ray from him, and got it signed. Don't forget he signed it, Bavini. I'm oh, sorry, he did. Bavini. That's me. Is there a save point? Oh yeah, I should probably head up that save point. A mighty roar. Don't you own some of his underwear? I do. Not his personal underwear, but... That water got real crusty. Um, again, if the creator of the Vine Wario slash Vine Greed emote is here, we like it, but if there's a way you could illustrate the greed a little bit better, that would be great. Like a dollar sign, or a bigger coin, or like a slightly different color palette. Just let me know. Um, I've never actually worn the underwear. Konome bought it for me. I went- I went with him. And, um... And Char, actually, yeah. And... There's a couple other people that knew Vine Sauce that were there. One of the dudes that worked there knew who I was, which was kinda cool. It was like, right after Comic-Con. But... Um, yeah, I- yeah, I own the underwear. He bought it for me. And... They're blue. They're- they're blue. What is this water crust? Oh my god, fucking die! They might be some of the most annoying enemies in the game thus far. If not the most. So, you are now consciously aware that the word the 
can be pronounced the or the, depending on both your intent and the words preceding and preceding. Who doesn't know that? Everyone knows it. You just don't think about it. I you know how I know that? English major. Yeah, I studied the dictionary. <laughs> hey, I know I'm cool, but give me a little space, all right? Vinny, you're acting different tonight. Because I know I won't be here for the next four days. Also, it's probably that donut. Also, what's different for Vinny? I wonder. Because just earlier I made it, uh, the word Usiat a thing. Um... I talked about clown shit. Uh... It's pretty normal for me. for much, much later. Blast shield and the door blocking access. This blast shield is invulnerable to most weapons. A mix of light and dark energy may damage it. Oh, lore. Lore corpse. Craven savages are the ink. Trapped in this catacomb. Trapped in the catacombs with no chance of rescue, I fought them to the last. I watched them feed upon their dead. I heard them pressing the lesser of their number into the front ranks that my blast would take them. At least their leader stood against me in battle. He's a foe warrior of the Luminoth. He's a foe worthy of the Luminoth warrior. They teach you how to read in dictionary class, too. things I couldn't access way earlier.
What the fuck? I don't even I don't I don't know which one I just unlocked. Um, blogling. Youthful, aggressive blog. These fucking young bloggers on the internet. Violent infant creatures will use a ram attack if provoked. You just described my entire existence as a human being in one sentence. He writes, Finna boing usy yat scrungus yib yo. Bussy you. Skip scoot tingle school. What? Tingle school, excuse me? Infernal noises. Ah! Midnight bellissimo yat. Some fucking Elsa Gate shit happening here. Got it. AI in the chat. The perfect meme. 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 Which is exactly what Spallone Babagoo Scooties was. That was just, like, six years ago. In time, the Ing began to possess Luminoth as well as creatures. Friends and family members became the enemy, spilling Luminoth, moth, yep, Luminoth blood across the land. Desperate, we devised shielding to prevent Ing possession. It was effective, but not perfect. Should the shielding fail, all Luminoth were prepared to self-terminate rather than become a weapon for the Ing. Yeah, that, at this point, you just leave the planet, if you can. And, like, go to a different planet. Because this place... Starting to sound like assholes. I don't know if they could or not. They were trying to stop them from taking over other planets, too. Okay, well, in that case, they're being altruistic, and I appreciate that. Moths can be good people, too. They scrapped their space travel and settled onto this world, but that's the thing. That's the ing. You know, maybe in an emergency, have like one rocket. Back this way, huh? <laughs> I 
appropriate use of the nut emote. Clearly missed something on my way back here, so sorry for the time waste. The hell, lock on. want to shoot something. I feel like Cicero. Um, maybe I can go down that way? Or maybe not yet. Still need to figure out how to do that. We have to go back here and then go left. No, can't go left. Wait. Yes. No, that's 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 what I have to do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This again. I'm so happy it's just babies this time. Sorry, bloglings. Blogettes? Blog... Blogger... Blogger fuckers? Bloglins. Yeah, no them bloglins. I'm so- I'm so upset that Pizza Time was scrubbed from the internet. That was my favorite video. It's gotta be somewhere. Find pizza time? Pe no, that's not pizza time. Pizza time. No. No, 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 not that pizza time. Oh god, no, not that one. We got Rick. Rick Astley. Love Rick Astley. I don't believe it's on YouTube anymore. I don't think it can be on YouTube.
and now a similar song about pizza. Sausage and roll pepperoni. pepperoni. And pizza rolls. Gonna need some fucking tums for this one. Looking for another wrong way. We got pizza on our face. He wants to get pile rolls. To the bottom, we'll go ride them in the wrong car. Me and Ralph ain't so different, you know. You know what I mean? Ah. What's up, my jabronettes? It's me, your Babacoo Scooty pal. Vinny Scoot Sauce. Ah. Would you like an infernal noise, my scro? Or how about a pickle? Perhaps you'd like some vine meat? The Pizza Time video is on Vimeo. Okay, well, I'm glad it still exists in some way, shape, or form. This is a concealed movement pad. Pad designed to confuse the ing. Shoot light crystals on lower surface to flip the pad over. Good thing I just wasted 30 ammo. Wow. Man, it's doing all this underwater shit. It's so smart on Retro's part. You know, make the player do a fuckload of underwater puzzles. Hate moving underwater, and then give them the gravity suit. And fill the player with a sense of elation. As if they have just retrieved Mega Nut from Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. Having so much fun with this new emote. The stream is literally meme after meme. Do you ever chill? Are you new here? This fucking guy. Classic, this guy. I'm just getting it out of my system tonight. Yeah, that's it. Oh! Oh, I don't like the grape juice. help. Let me hit you with my light shotgun.
damn it. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else, like, understood what just happened, but I love that. For those, the uninitiated, that space pirate just teleported into the light. And, uh, I supercharged it with the light beam, and it's just, that's basically, like, arsenic. To them. That was really good. Do it again. Nice. Yeah, you're on fire. Good. Again, for a game with limited control scheme, it manages to take advantage of, uh, its combat system fairly well. It's not a shooter. I mean, Metroid Prime was never, in my mind, a shooter game. It's an action-adventure exploration game with shooting elements. Heavy shooting elements, but it's still not like, you know, this isn't John Halo's. But some of these, uh, some of these enemies, some of these fights are really good. can I do here? What do I have the ability to do here? There was a dimensional flux. I remember that. So I gotta find that and uh, do something about it. That right there. Yep. That one. Have we done Borglars yet tonight? We have now. I'm just, listen, I'm giving you everything you want one more time before I, uh, disappear into oblivion. When I say oblivion, I mean the sweaty halls of the Too Many Games convention, where the bow meter shall tip. And those not already sanitized shall become more sanitized by the end of the convention. What would a Bowie meter even do? <laughs> no, the B.O. meter, not the Bowie meter. Vin, you and Some Call Me Johnny need to meet and have a chill fest. I like Some Call Me Johnny. We've, we've hung out a little bit. We didn't really get a chance to... We didn't really get a chance to, like, get to know each other and talk, but I wish we did. It's really hard for me to have any meaningful interactions with people at this convention. Usually it's at a party where everyone's drunk. Uh, during the convention, it's like really hard. Because, you know, there's a lot of people around and uh, I can, you know, I miss my jumps a lot. And... You can like, chat a little bit. But only at like a really, really small convention can you get to know someone for a while. At least in my, you know, my situation. I don't know, I can't speak for everyone. So it, it did the thing. to ball launcher. Oh, I didn't see that that platform was available. It's like formulating all the other items I needed to get over there.
You know what? I'm gonna let you live. chat is telling me to save. Which I was going to. I know what's, you know, I know what's to come, generally. Where is the vine save emote? I was so heavily debating using it. It's somewhere. It's somewhere. It's probably... Yeah, it's probably still in my inbox, but... It's one of those things that I was like, okay. This could be cool. This has utility. People would enjoy using it for when there's a good save. You know, like run saved. Or when they want to tell me to save the game. But it would get... Probably very overused and very annoying very quickly. How do I get back up? I can't now. I can't get back up now. I was looking for the thing that could get me back up to the surface so I could use the save point. There was like a little boost down here, you know? Alright. Just taking some precautions. Almost no health, almost no ammo. <sighs> and I have to fight this thing. <laughs> Dear God. Oh wait. Um, this might be enough creature kills. Crustiest of all the seahorses. Oh, more health, more health, more health. It's not quite full health, but... to do. Big blog. Alpha blog, immense blog, pack leader, enormous water dweller will fire sonic disruption blast at foes. It has all strengths and weaknesses of its brethren.
feel like we're playing Subnautica again. We're in the exosuit. Yeah, this music is one of my favorite tracks from Super Metroid. And they made it very watery for this particular game. It's a good one. You know, I completely forgot about this item. Press B to jump while moving, press B again. Press hold uh, to rise. So it's the gravity suit, but now I have like a jetpack, an underwater jetpack. change the color of the suit to purple. Also, I'm fucked. Get out of the way fast enough. I think I got this. I scanned it before, chat. glad that I got that fucking upgrade before. That was good. Someone said, I had no idea you could even nuke him with the black hole. Same. I was just hoping it would work, and... I knew it would take a little while to activate, like I knew I, if I pressed the missile button... That attack was gonna take time to charge. So... I figured, alright, well I have to time this. And even then, I wasn't sure it was gonna happen. Otherwise, the fish would win. 
I can't let the fish win. I can never let the fish win. A second. Um Okay, we may have a better vine greed. Let me show you guys. I think this could work. So vine greed is is made by um freezy foop. Actually is this I don't know if this is the um No, this is totally different. Freezy foop. Did you make the original too? Let me just make sure. No, I don't think so. I think that, um, yeah, I think that the other person, I don't know who the other person is, actually. Um, yeah, it's good. New one is definitely better, communicates what it is, and I like it. So when I get back, we'll talk about it. And maybe there's a way we can, uh, again, remove... I don't have the full versions of Vinegasm, though. That's the problem. So if I'm going to move Vinegasm over, I have to actually dig a little bit and try to find it. And uh, move it to Frankerface. This would not be a good time for a game crash. do anything there. Someone saying, honestly, do we really need the Korok lad? <laughs> That's the thing with emotes. People get attached to them. You know, the Korok has some uses, but it's more just attachment. There's a number of emotes that could be moved to Frankerface, you know, but there have been... Some of these emotes have been around for fucking years, since the very beginning of emotes.
if you go to the emote statistics, you'll find out which ones people just pretend to like. Well, I, that's not fair. I'd, I'd say people do genuinely like some emotes, but they're just not used as much. So, like, I, someone could say they like Vine Korok, but have no use for it, and that's, I think, perfectly valid. Why that dude so strong? God, I don't have a hover outside of the water. Samus now has more mobility underwater than out of water. Probably could do a little bit more down here. Now that I have the underwater suit, the boost. But I'll probably just come back when I get power bomb, and then I'll do some exploration. think of a vine old emote oh man <laughs> yeah I mean there's definitely there, what do I think of a vine snot emote for when I say the word snot I think there could be hundreds of emotes that could be relevant and useful. Someone said Vine Mate could probably go because it's only useful for when I do the voice. And yeah, there's plenty of emotes, uh, emotes that are only used when I do the voice, but... You know, it's it's tough to say goodbye to emotes because, again, there's a, an attachment level to them. For myself included. So voting is helpful, but, you know, it's not everyone's gonna be happy. Wow. 
<laughs> Sorry. Just like the sound it makes when it goes by your head. It's, look, I mean, you know, for, like, power shoot, it, it looks really good still. It's like a 10-year-old game, more, 13-year-old, 14-year-old game, and it still has some of the best, like, projectile beam shoot, plasma fire shoot I've ever seen. I don't even know where I'm going. I think there was um, a green door in the dark world that I have to go, go to. Really bad evolution. This is just a shame. I know this area was crackly before, but... Damn. Like, I vowed not to mention the crust too much, and not, like, you know, express my disappointment every single time it happens, but... This is a game that ran pretty flawlessly on the GameCube. So... Of course... I'm a little... little upset. This is my own goddamn fault, and I'm very well aware of it. And that's okay, because I still think the benefits outweigh the negatives. See if I can get through that green door. Is that not a really bad evolutionary trait? Like these dudes that release poison after they're killed? Maybe that's not the point of the evolution. Maybe it's more... You know, they just have poison in them so that when things try to eat them it tastes bad. But, when you happen to apply high explosive weaponry, or very hot plasma shoot, all of that gas is released. You know? But generally, anything, maybe on Earth, or in fiction, that, um, has evolved... ...to kill its thing upon death, 
that's just that's just unfortunate. I'm not saying, like, I'm not arguing with nature, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, like, Darwin trying to figure out why the fuck nature did these things, these horrible things. More... I'm just saying, like... I wanna know. Like, what if you were that creature? You know what I mean? Like, you, you r rolled the dice, and you had to come back as a creature. And you got, like, a really shitty roll, and you came back as a thing that dies. To de defend itself. Like a bee. Or a thing that only can defend itself after death in the form of, like, poison. A rotten burger. Wouldn't that basically be just a free reroll then? Oh, good point. Good point. And yeah, and then you can... You can, um... Hopefully, you know, roll something a little bit better. Like, like a dolphin. You know, there's a lot of freedom. Or like a bird. But specifically a bird that doesn't suck ass. Because there's plenty of birds that just suck. And have like, pitiful, pointless existences. Like, geese. Uh, the only geese, really. That's it. Just that. I like all other bird form. What if you re-rolled and you came back as a starfish? It seems kind of peaceful. Just like chill out. Just, like, like kind of move around real slow. Suck nutrients and then you just fucking die. And, like get petrified and put on someone's wall. Feel the current. You know. Let the like um the currents and the jet streams flow through you and around you. Laugh all you want, but I bet it feels amazing to be a starfish. As a house centipede. That's gonna be my karma. You know? If reincarnation... Like, is real. And specifically, like, reincarnation's real in the sense that you become an animal. <laughs> like, if you really fuck up, you just become an animal. Like, you don't- like, sorry, no, nope, no, you've lost human privileges. You're kind of a dick. So, what have you done in this life, Vincent? Well, I streamed some video games, uh, the blah 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 music, blah 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 blah. I'm an asshole. All right. Oh, well, that's interesting. Um, but it see it says here that you killed a lot of uh, house centipedes. Well, technically, I you know, you know, I had to because because I hear they nibble on your eyeballs when you're sleeping. No, that's an urban legend, you asshole. Oh. Well, the good news is, you get to come back. Okay, what's the bad news? As a house centipede. In your own house while you were alive as a human. What? How can that be possible, God? I can do anything. You get to watch yourself crush your entire family and then leave you in a cup 
while you slowly suffocate. Remember that game, Bad Mojo, that you played? Yeah. Yep. It's gonna be just like that. This sounds like the premise of a good movie. I... It sounds like the premise of a decent Twilight Zone or Outer Limits episode for like, you know, 22 minutes with commercials. I don't- I don't know if this would hold water for a full movie. talking about he was talking about reincarnation again oh no not again was it during one of his streams yeah it was during one of his streams mm. so what was he talking about this time he mentioned something about coming back as a house centipede all right well restrict his TV access What's been on- what's been on the TV in the common area? That Geo? <sighs> give- give him the Hitler shows again. Oh, that's all of the History Channel when it's not reality TV. Yeah, give him that. And second thought, no, don't give him that. Which Riker episode, Desert? <laughs> beard on beard? Oh, oh, the one where he goes to the psych ward. No, we wa I already watched that one, actually. Like, fairly recently. Um, it's called, um... State of Mind? Was it State of Mind? Frame of Mind, Frame of Mind, thank you. Yeah, that one's heavy. That was, I think, Frakes' best acting. Or some of it. As the show continued, he didn't really consider himself much of an actor. And, uh, he started directing more and... Um... You know, when you're next to Patrick Stewart, you're gonna look... Either you're gonna up your game, or you're gonna look a bit like an amateur. I'd say, one of the things I've learned, though, is... Good actors can up the game of bad actors. Like, you, you might try harder, you might put more effort in, um, the good actor can sell your performance a bit. That's what uh, a lot of the cast would say. Patrick Stewart actually made them better actors. Like, he upped everyone's game by being on the set of that show.
Patrick Stewart save the emoji movie? I still don't understand. But like, did he need the paycheck that bad? What the fuck, Patrick? I mean, I'm not gonna tell the guy how to live his goddamn life. Patrick Stewart, in his old age, seems to enjoy purposely bad uh, roles for fun. When you get older... Yeah, you may as well just, just take whatever the fuck you want. Just, just go on vacation. Just have fun. I mean, maybe you worry about your legacy, though. When you have a legacy like Patrick Stewart... I think that's gonna be a little hard to destroy with just poop. Like, okay, say for example, you release an album, uh, called Blood Bagel. <laughs> no, but, uh, the thing about Patrick Stewart is, I mentioned that he looked a little feeble recently. And that I don't think he could play Picard again and still give him that commanding aura. But I mean, you could always write the character age appropriately. That's not an issue. What I think. I was wrong though, because um, I watched a video of him drinking beer from a shoe. And he seemed like he was really in good spirits. His voice sounded good. There's a lot of power in that guy's voice. And uh, the reason his voice has been a little. Like when you see him on talk shows. He can get out of... out of breath a bit, and... Um... Like, the- the words crack. Like, he voice cracks more than I do, sometimes. And I think that's purely because, um... Hmm. I think that's purely because he smokes a lot of weed. He does, by the way. He does smoke a lot of weed. He's got arthritis. Yeah, I think that's great. I think good for him. He found something that works for him. But I'm just saying one of the side effects of smoking... Maybe, you know, maybe he's vaping, I'm not sure if he's actually, like, uh, like, smoking, like, like, Jays. You know what I mean? He's not, like, getting a Dutch rolling that shit up. Computer! Maybe he's got edibles, but I was wondering if maybe the weed had something to do with his voice, um, getting a little bit less powerful. Which, again, the guy's almost 80. Alright, there's gonna be scum tonight. Just saying, now I there has to be. Um, I also think um, I also think I can't do anything here yet until I get the grapple beam. Is that true? Am I telling tall tales? Yeah. All right, let me just get to a portal. And, uh... Or I just save here. That's no problem. I'll, I'll just save, because... There's not much more progress that can be made, unless I'm in for the long haul, and I don't know where the grapple beam is. I mean, there's definitely a lot of progress that was made today. And... I think we're, like, halfway through the game, maybe just over. Halfway. You ran past it? Really? Okay, 
Here's the deal. When I play this game next, when I come back from this convention, I'm gonna probably be completely lost. So if you know this game well, definitely remind me that I need grapple. I'm gonna have to kill a boss too. Is your panel gonna be live streamed? No, probably not. It's not gonna be anything special. It's gonna be Q and A. It'll probably be filmed. Someone might film it. Oh, and um, okay, Nari, if you found ways to reduce the stutter, of course, let me know about that. But we're gonna take a look at the art. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that idle animation before. Secret compartment. Okay, so let's take a look at the art. And again, I'll see some of you at the convention. For everyone else, if you are, you know, you're looking for something to watch, let, like, there's other streamers. Um, most of the Vinesaw streamers are going to be streaming. And some of my mods, um, Jerma, Kriken, I'm sure you'll find plenty of stuff to watch. And of course, if you haven't caught up with all of my streams, it's all there. Full Sauce Channel's got plenty of stuff. But I think it might be good for you to get the stink flowing off you, you know, get out of the house a little bit, uh, watch another streamer, forget about me for a couple of days. Really, it's I don't need to be uh, that ubiquitous in one's life, and that's probably not the right word for that. But you know, go go uh, get the stink off of you. Yeah, ubiquitous ubiquitous was the right word actually. But um, anyway, go enjoy yourself, okay? Maybe play some video games, maybe do your own streams. And I'll see you in a couple days with more stupid video games that are actually quite, quite amazing. I have a, quite a lineup happening right now.